So, so today's episode, we're going to head off towards um, northern panhandle of um, Idaho here and do some pike fishing. And the first thing you want to do is get yourself a nice uh, medium action rod at your local sporting goods store. And um, the, the main key is to have a smooth running reel, so that way you have like a nice Shimano Corrado and stuff like that. And then run it up with um, 12 to 14 pound test um, Fireline Crystal. Crystal's nice because it blends against the sky and stuff like that, and it stays nice and white against your... Um, Above, above water areas and stuff, and that's why it blends in, and it's also super strong. The nice part with that braided line like this, it's round and doesn't eat your eyelets out. And saves you a ton of money on ceramic eyelet replacement. The next thing you want to do is step yourself into a, an enclosed wire leader with, with a Duloc snap system. Don't go with the standard crimp systems, go with a Duloc snap. And you know, a coated wire is nice because it keeps the um, finish on your lures looking sharp and shiny the way you're supposed to be. Then you want to step yourself into a, a bomber jointed long A that you can pick and pick up at most um, retail stores like Sportsman's Warehouse and Cabela's and so forth. But then what you want to do is you want to modify it just a little bit because you're going to be fishing weeds. So you're going to be fishing six to ten feet of water, and um, that's where the pike are here in the fall. So what you want to do is you want to kind of turn these back hooks out a little bit by just getting a hold of them and and giving them a, just a slight little turn up so they just tilt out just a little bit like so and make sure all three of them are tweaked out just a hair and that just helps you hook that fish because he's when they hit you going fast like that they have a tendency to shake off and then just check and make sure you don't have no burr you'll feel a burr on the back side then the other thing you want to do is get a hold of your front hooks and give it a shake and your, and your lead hook like this here you want to get in here and nip him off like so that way this hook here when he tracks he'll track nice and flat to your lure and you'll catch just as many fish but you'll have less weed hang up and the same thing with your stage two lure is do the same thing. Get in nice and close. Get right on the back corner as tight as you can get in there. And then get rid of that guy. And then like you said, all you gotta do is shake them and they'll they'll track right straight tight to the body usually. They should be right in there. And then that'll keep your, your bait kind of weedless coming down the front, and then your treble is open in the back for maximum hookup. And you're all set to go fishing. <laughs>